Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hey there, everyone. I will talk about Bloodshot. Now, I was excited about this to some extent. I did a trailer review. I like Vin Diesel in most movies that I watch with him in it. I'm not a big fan of Fast and the Furious, but for the other pictures, I'm pretty satisfied. I like what he does. I'm a fan of comic books in general, all comic books. I know the character. I know the brand Valiant to some extent. I have an idea what the character was, this and that. And generally, I was quite pleased when I saw the trailer. Now, the movie... Okay. This movie could have been really good. Could have been really, really good. But it falls apart in its dialogue... And I made a comment, well, that I think Valiant's problem as a comic book company is evident in the movie. It's almost as if they took a subpar writing team's run and used it. So, there's a little bit of a problem I have with the movie. Does it ruin the fun of the movie as an action movie? Probably not. But there are things in it that just don't drive well for me. There are voiceover work. It might have been done on purpose. It might be their vision of what they wanted for this movie, which is fine. Maybe it just didn't sit well with me. So this might be a movie I might say people are going to like, but overall I'm not super excited and I wasn't super thrilled with it. He's good in the role, but there are elements missing that make it feel dry in some areas and quite unbelievable so there's a woman in the movie uh, what is, i don't know what the fucking name is in this day and age you think i'd be able to find it real quick but i don't know let's see how fast I can do it. okay so elza gonzalez reina we just refer to her as hotness I mean, she she's on the fucking camera and it's it. Your movie's over. She, it's that just that it just hits me that that way with this actress. What the fuck? She's got to be an Amazon from fucking Themyscira. She's as soon as she's on the screen, you forget about the movie. It's just it's it's all hotness now, and hotness and fucking uh, scantilized clothing. It's just. Now, they don't get too crazy with it, but it's just so evident, and it became a joke. Like, I want to just watch Hotness. I don't care anymore. All right, getting that out of the way. The movie feels a little clunky. It looks pretty good, although there's a couple of scenes when the fighting gets a little too out of control. And not from what you see in the... Well, maybe some of it's in the trailer, or it may be hidden well. The slow-mo effects to show the process of what's going on with his body are great. Um, what you see in the trail is just, it, it looks amazing. And the setup to it is pretty good, pretty good. But the more high-tension action where it's um, throwing each other through things and jumping around a building, scaffold, or elevator, it just gets a little hard to follow. But I don't come away from this movie disappointed and angry at it. It seems like it's one of those, I'm going to be critical about it and nitpick it to death and then maybe one or two major issues. And that doesn't ruin this movie for me, but it does kind of give me a letdown from the trailer. So maybe this is one of those, the trailer got me a little more hyped than I should have. Because if I was treating it like me going to get a Valiant comic, I know what I'm expecting. I mean, I love DC, Marvel, Image uh valiant to a certain extent there were some great characters they had but when you look at the runs of the comics and you followed them for years it's a little evident in the way they have their layouts in their comic and the way the word bubbles are and the, the writing that it's a different feel and maybe that's what they were going for if it, if it was then maybe a certain group of people really love this movie 
good on you. I enjoyed it. It is fun. And I might be in love for the first time in years. You know, you go through what I've been through and you see this hotness on the screen. There's no, I don't know. I'm feeling things I haven't felt in years. Is it worth it? I mean, because of the virus and the, you know, you can't go to movies and stuff. I think they've decided to release it early, which I think is an excellent move. I think they were deciding to go that way. Anyway, I believe it was a Netflix movie. I forgot which one it was. It might have been linked to the Cloverfield movies. But anyway, it was released on Netflix as a movie and it was released on DVD. Give everybody what they want. And in this situation, I think people need content. They need stuff to listen to. Even if it's just some schmuck from Brooklyn talking about hotness on a fucking screen. Because now it's all I can think about. It might be fun and enjoyable, real enjoyable for people. And I, maybe I'm mistaken in analyzing it in a certain way. But for me, I just noticed these things and they kind of, you know, became nitpicks that when the two major problems came, they kind of kind of swayed it for me. So I think it's enjoyable. It might be fun. I'll watch it on a good copy. I'll definitely give it another shot. I think it's worth that. And watch it if you get a chance. It might be released soon. Let me know what you think. You know what to do in the links and all that fun stuff. Hope everybody's healthy. We'll get through this. Take care, everybody.